You know I like to mix it up now and again. Hey, it's Care. Welcome to my take at the lake. Kind of a different flip through for you today. There's been a lot happening here at my take at the lake. I want to give you the 25 cent tour. What's new? What does it mean? What does it look like? What does it mean for you? What does it mean for me? <laughs> Just go through it all because it can be a little overwhelming. I often assume that people who use YouTube know all about YouTube, know all about the bells and the whistles and the links and the different components of it. And, and I know that's not true. <laughs> and I'll tell you, I, I'd had a couple, couple of comments saying when um, Amy and, and I, Amy from Doki Doki Forest and I and Jean Bainey or whatever, when we do collaborations, I've had a couple of comments here and there that, oh, I can't find their version of it. Well, we always link them in the description, but sometimes people don't even know where to find that. So those of you who are well versed in it, stick around. I've got some really new cool stuff to, you know, fast forward if you need to, to, you know, pass the basics. But we're just going to start here at the channel. This is the homepage of my take at the lake. And we're just going to mosey about and I'm going to show you some things here and there that you might be familiar with and then again you might not be and the whole point is to help you understand not only my channel but other channels that you watch. They're, they all operate about the same. Although not everybody has customized or has made good use of this home page, uh, this is all completely customizable and I want to start right up here at the top underneath the the banner underneath my mug, you'll see different tabs within the channel that you can open. As I said, we're here on the home page. Then there's all of the videos and all of the shorts that I have made, all of the videos that I have made. I've made truckloads of playlists for you, and we'll talk more about that in a few minutes. I'm trying to make better use of the community tab, but unless you're subscribed and have the notification bell, if you hit the notification bell, if you have notifications turned on, you don't get it. And so sending stuff out there, literally five people get it. And it's kind of a lot of work to post a lot, to post a lot to the community channel when nobody's seeing it. It, it does no good if nobody's seeing it. So I have a push-pull with that. If I'm more active on it, perhaps it'll get more views. I don't like to waste my time on it because only three people ever see it. And then I'm not even sure it's the same three people, although I think it is. And some people know to go look for it. And I'll show you that too here in, in just a second. New to the channel is a membership. And I'll take you in there and give you a peek around. And a new store. I'm so jazzed about the goodies in the My Tick at the Lake store. Very fun. I spent some time this designing stuff that I thought was sassy and crafty and fun and useful and cool looking all at the same time. So I, I can't wait to show you that. A lot of us depend on that feed that we get. If I go to my YouTube channel and I'm not going to do that because I don't want you to see what I've been watching. <laughs> That's kind of private. <laughs> but if you go to the main YouTube channel, YouTube picks videos for you based on things you have liked, based on things you have watched, based on things you have commented on. They like to keep you on the platform as long as possible, thus the algorithms. And the algorithms pay close attention to what you're watching in, or what you have watched, what you've liked, and they give you stuff based on that. And so I notice in, in my own feed, a lot of times when I know Amy has a video out, but I, I haven't gotten it on my feed, that's on YouTube. You know, the algorithm is not perfect. So let's just go over to Amy's channel, for example. And over here on the side under YouTube, and if you can't see this, if you're on your desktop and you can't see this listing, you can hit the three lines up here in the upper left. That's the menu button and that will hide it. They're always right here. But if you want a more detailed view, you just open that. And you go down here to your subscriptions. I have 112 or whatever that I'm subscribed to. And you can tell by these little blue buttons, these little blue dots, tell me that these people have a video out that I have not watched. We'll go over to Amy's channel. And one hour ago, she posted a video. And 
it, that may or may not have shown up in my feed, but I don't have to always rely on the feed to look for videos by people that I subscribe to and videos that I look forward to. Um, all these people, Janet Nash has a new video out, Noeet has a video out, Christina has a video out, Magic by the Ocean has a video out, and I am woefully behind in watching because I can't design and watch at the same time. I can't watch and edit at the same time because I like to leave long comments. I like to comment as I watch. And so I'm behind in my viewing and I apologize to those people that I subscribe to that I'm behind on. Hopefully you'll understand because you'll see that, oh my gosh, there's a lot of new stuff going on at Matic at the Lake. Of course, the other thing that you can do is go up to the search bar at any time and look for your favorite peeps by their name and then you will you can find them that way. We'll go in and we'll look for Janet Nash and that will pull up a whole bunch of her videos, some ads, a whole bunch of her videos and it should have her channel. A lot of times it has the channel itself listed too but in this case it doesn't but I can go right here to her name and that'll take me to her channel rather than to that video. If I back up just a second, if I click on the the video showing over here or the title of the video, it'll take me to that video with an ad. <laughs> Don't you love it? But if I click right here on her name, it takes me directly to her channel and then I can see the things that I have missed. Now, I'm going to go back to my own home for a moment. Something new that YouTube has done in the last few several weeks, maybe a month or two now, they have this for you section at the top of everybody's homepage. Now again, I think people can shut, shut it off if they don't want that up there. But what that does is again, based on your history of watching and liking, it picks out things from this channel that it thinks you might like which is kind of cool, especially if you're new to a channel and they have, I have 329 videos. Today's will make 330 videos on my channel in my library. And so if you're new to the channel and there's 330 videos or more, how do you pick other than just the most recent? Well, YouTube picks a few for you. They've got four here. What else? Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Oh, they pick out quite a few. For you. It could be from four months ago, it could be from last year, it could be from six years ago, because it, it would be pertinent based on your watching history, which is a really cool tool. And for those who have YouTube channels that aren't making good use of this, I, I highly recommend it because, it, again, it helps new viewers and that we're always trying to get more and more new people subscribed. The more videos you have, the more confusing it is to them. Where do they start? And if you have a million choices, you can't even make one. But if, if you're served up four or five or eight or ten, it's a lot easier to pick. It's not as overwhelming and, and potential viewers may well not click off. This home channel also, we as channel creators, we can customize all of this. And so YouTube has the for you at the top. I, I left that there because I think it's a great tool. I like to put videos right next to, right next in line because that's what people come for really are the videos. A list of uh, the created playlist. You can go right to the playlist and it, it gives a whole bunch right there to view. You can also here at the bottom, just like clicking on a name of a creator takes you to their channel versus to the video. If you click here, it's going to play all of the videos in that playlist. But if you click view full playlist, and these are brand new ones, so they don't have very much in it. Let's go over to this one, I call it a bit underappreciated, but some of my best stuff. 
some some videos I think are really, really helpful, but they're old. They're from when I first started, and so they don't get a lot of play time. So I made a, a playlist of them, and what that means is that it's just a collection of videos with a certain theme. It might be all flip-throughs, or it might be all thrift hauls, so that you, as a viewer, don't have to go wading through 330 videos to find the flip-throughs, or the glue book or the quick dips or whatever. We as creators can do that for you. And so this just lists the few that I picked out. I have six videos here. You can play them all. You can pick one at a time however you want to do it. Where were we? Um, shorts. Some people like the shorts. I don't do a whole lot of shorts. I find them very troublesome, not very helpful. And I have other channels. I have Positively Creative You, the Bostons have their own channel. I have a music, Relax and Renew Lakeside. I also have a true crime channel that I pulled from here. I, I will repost it eventually. Those have kind of been put on the back burner because there's so much going on with this one right now. You know, there's only so many hours in the day. So let's go back up here to the top to the list of videos. Underneath here, you'll notice you can sort them however you want to sort them by the latest, which I think is, you know, that's the newest stuff. I want to see what they're up to now. Or the most popular that changes things considerably. You see a completely different set of videos rather than from newest to oldest. Or you can go back and look at my, some of them cringe worthy videos from three years ago, however you want to do it. If you go to the latest, you'll see here up at the top, a whole bunch of videos that you may not have seen, but they were members only videos. That's part of the membership. And again, I'll take you inside and give you a sneak peek of what that's all about. Shorts is pretty self-explanatory. It's just all the shorts that I've made. And I've made quite a few, given I don't like making them. There are quite a few here. You can get to the playlist lists by clicking on this tab. You can also sort these however you want. Newest to oldest or the last video added, which would mean the playlist that is the most recently added to. And I'm just going to quick like go through some of the playlists for you. I've started a couple new ones, comfort crafts, because some things are just like couch crafting when you're sick or comfort crafts when you're having a bad day or you just need something to calm you down or mellow you out. I've also started a playlist for my series called This Inspired Me. I started a playlist featuring all my glue booking videos. I've started a couple just for myself. These are private. You'll see here they're private. Things that I want to try when I'm painting. There's the bit underappreciated that I just told you about. Some of my best stuff, but it's old, so it doesn't get a lot of push from YouTube. Using the same images, this year-long collaboration between Amy at Doki Doki Forest and myself, we started in the fall, and we did using the same images for fall, winter, spring and upcoming will be summer and that will be the end of that particular project. I don't know if we'll continue with using the same images or not. We'll have to see. But a playlist. So if you're watching the both of us, how we each use the same things, well then the videos are right there. I think I'm going to go in there too and add the other people who are using it, using the same images with us. Christina at Christina Shack, Magic by the Ocean Coralie, and Sylvia D, who have gone and got our digital images and are using them as well. The Halloween event last year was pretty big, so there's a whole bunch of videos in there. Uh, what else? Fun sprays. That's one of my favorite things to do. Happy mail. You know, because we each have different things we like to watch, and that varies day to day. Some days I just binge watch glue book flip throughs. <laughs> Other days I want to see people harvesting magazines. You know, it all it, it's all different. But I have, look at all these playlists, har harvesting magazines, fun with YouTube friends when I collaborate with somebody else. They're in there as well. Craft alongs. I don't have very many with those, but maybe more will come soon. Um, my, my, all my videos having to do with digital kits, how to use them, how to alter them, how to print them, how to buy them from Etsy, how to download them. It's all in the My Take on digital kits, playlist, composition books. Ah, oh, there's just so much I want to do with composition books. And you can see, 
uh, dive in, ways to get started. If you're brand new to junk journaling, this is an entire playlist of ideas for you to get started that are easy, low, low pressure, low stress, that kind of thing. Quick dips here, just short little videos about really cool ideas or time-saving measures or really cool tools or new toys. The subject matter kind of runs the gamut. Uh, Flip-throughs, creative tidbits, new theme Thursday. There's 20 in there. There's 29 in the junk journal and glue book flip-throughs. I may have to separate those because it, you know, that's a lot of videos in a playlist. Creative tidbits. Again, these are just little creative things that I come up, you know, like if you have a convection oven, there's a fan in there and that speeds up oven drying of coffee dyed papers dramatically. Holy smoke. Uh, my easy way to get colored paper clips, brads and binder clips, a little journal. I made a mistake, but it turned out to be a really cool idea and or lesson. My take on faux leather I wanted it not only to look and feel like leather, but feel and act like leather. And so mine is a little bit more extensive with a T, not a P as in Paul, extensive process to get a little bit thicker faux leather for projects. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Okay, so let's get back to the channel. Also, here's the community tab and here are all my posts. Woohoo! Check out my new shop. That's the latest post. And oh, by the way, there is a, oh, this one's for members only, so I can't tell you what that is. And this one is for everybody, so I can tell you what that is. There's a, there's a 15% off promo code for this, for the new store. That's in the posting. I love this t-shirt. I need at least five of them. I've got a good heart. I really do. But this mouth <laughs> is my arch nemesis sometimes. No filter, no filter. And then we go back up to membership. This is new. Membership is just what it sounds like. It's a little bit of a membership. You get members only videos. I have started grumpy glue booking and I have an hour long glue book along with me where I talk about my grumpy glue booking and why those things are in there. There's some behind the scenes. There's making a giant, when I made my giant glue book, it was a nightmare toward the end. I was tired, it was late, I was cranky, and holy Hannah, it's salty. This is where I put my saltier stuff. You don't have to watch the salty stuff. I am also putting videos here as early access, as ad-free. So if you want to watch ad-free videos, join the Krabby Crafter Clubhouse. When you click on the join button, you'll get a little video that tells you about why you might want to join the Krabby Crafter Clubhouse. It lists all of the membership benefits, exclusive Krabby Crafter Clubhouse videos, early access to many videos, not all but most, ad-free content, members-only community polls, members-only live streams, maybe. And of course you get bragging right and it's super, super simple. You just, once you hit the subscribe button and while we're talking about it, go ahead, I'll wait, hit the subscribe button, and while you're up there, the like on this video, share it. Easiest thing to do. Share it to your Pinterest, share it to Facebook, Twitter it if you want to Twitter it, copy and paste it and send it to a friend. You could do all kinds of things. I, I have a crabby crap, excuse me, I have a junk journal board on Pinterest that I, that I pin a lot of pins to. Uh, my take at the lake board. It, it's so easy. So if you do all those things, it helps the channel immensely. Uh, so once you have hit the subscribe button, you can hit the join button. And when it pops up, you'll get the video and you have a whole other chance to hit the join button. And after you hit the join button, there's a there's one more safety thing that says, are you sure we're going to make this purchase? It's $2.99 a month for as long as you want or as short as you want. You know, come in, take a look around. If it's not your cup of tea, then don't stay. But if you like it, we'd love to have you. You get these, I made, I custom designed all these loyalty badges. The longer you're there, you get different badges. I made these custom emojis that you see playing on the screen. I made those specifically for the channel. And the more Krabby Crafter Clubhouse members we get, the more custom emojis I can make. When it's brand new, you can only make four. <laughs> so we have four. So again, there's 
lots of videos in there already. There's more coming all of the time. They're ad free and they're kind of fun. Although, I, and I will warn you if it's super salty and not, you know, I'll warn you in the description, you know, this one's super salty. So far, there's only one in there that's very salty. And by that, I mean very strong language, expletives sort of there, kind of bleeped out, but you know, you know. <laughs> But I had a ball editing that. I had so much fun editing that. Oh, there's Chula. Oh, wait, something shiny. I gotta go watch Chula. Oh, she got a toy. Ah, She looks just like, just like Skippy. Very much like Skipper. Skipper Dippins. Oh, she's so cute. Make sure to give every video you watch a like. Leave a little comment because, man, that just helps the channel so much. Takes no, no time at all to do that. And I, and I always go in and like other people's comments too because every little bit of activity, I can share this too. I'll go up to Pinterest. They make it so easy. And I have cute, so cute. And I'm gonna pin it to that board and click out of Pinterest. Otherwise, I lose an entire day of my life. I never go on Pinterest. I only pin to Pinterest. Close that out, and then we're golden. It's so easy. It's so easy to, to promote other people's stuff. And it surely, surely does help. So where did we leave off? Membership. Wait. Inside the membership, there's a lot of videos. There's members-only community posts. There's a members-only poll, so we can you know, vote on things or I can get your opinion on things specifically for the membership. I'm going to save this store for last because I'm just so jazzed about it. I'm going to go back home and I'm going to pick one of my videos. I'll just pick, I'll pick this one. I, this one, I don't know, it got kind of lost in the system somewhere. It came out 10 days ago. It was on the membership ad free for a couple of days. And when I posted it, it just, it didn't go anywhere. Nobody saw it. So we're going to go, we're going to go to this video because it needs some love. And after this video, go watch that video. I'll link it in the cards at the end. I'll link it at the end so you can easily find it. But we're going to go into this video. I'm going to pause the ad for a moment. One of the easiest, although it's kind of irritating, things that you can do for any channel, not just my channel, but for any channel that has over a thousand subscribers is let the ads play for a little while and click on them. That boosts the monetization. That that might get a couple extra pennies to the content creator and all those pennies add up. They all add up and they're so appreciated. So what I do to people that I know are monetized, I let the ads play and you can mute it right down here. You can mute it and just play. Go get a cup of coffee, refresh your water, whatever. Let it play out for a few second past that skip video because you can skip them anytime which is normally what I do is just skip them automatically but I also have learned to go there and just click on it it takes you to the website and each click is money for the channel each watch of an ad is money for the channel and that helps those of us who have to do this as our living I, I shouldn't say have to but those of us who are trying to make an income from being content creators all those pennies and clicks add up. It won't cost you anything but time, but it will make a huge difference to the, again, not just my channel, but anybody's channel that you watch that is monetized, especially the smaller channels. You know, the bigger ones, they've got, they've got promotional deals and sponsorships by, you know, Skillshare. You've seen those. This, this video is sponsored by Skillshare. They've got brand deals. You know, the smaller channels don't get that for a long, long time. And so watching the ads and clicking on the shop now button, and that's all it does. It just takes you to the website. You can click off of it and then skip, skip the ad. And now we're back to, to my video. What I want to show you here is here's where you'd find the subscribe button. Once you hit the subscribe button, there's a join button. That's how you join the membership. And again, it gives you at least two, maybe three times to back out before that $3 is spent, maybe even four. So clicking join doesn't automatically drain money out of your account. It just takes you to an informational video. Here, obviously the like button, please hit the like button, share it. 
Again, anytime someone shares the video, whether it be to Pinterest, to a friend, to their own website or wherever, it helps the channel. This is a new thing here too. If you click on thanks, it's a super thanks, which directly supports the channel. Uh, if you get like a really good idea or if you think, wow, I've been watching this chick for three years and I've gotten so many ideas, here's five bucks or here's two bucks. You can start at two, but you can go all the way up. I've seen people getting 50 and and $100 on their live streams especially. They'll get $200 thank yous just for, because I love your channel or whatever. It's a one-time, it's like a big tip jar. It's super easy. Buy and send. And it's Again, they make it so easy. And I don't know, I don't know how much, like if, if you send, if you join up for the membership at $3 a month, YouTube takes 30% of that, $3, right? So they get one, they get a dollar, I get $2 for every $3 that, that I think that's the right math. My eyes beginning to twitch when I'm doing math. It's not good. So who knows if I'm right, but I don't know how much they take out of the super thanks. You know, they're going to take a little bit for processing it and whatnot. And that's fine. Let's see. What does this say? Information. Super thanks is a way for fans to express their gratitude and show the channel some support and some love. When you purchase a super thanks, you will see a special animated GIF as an added bonus to get a distinct colorful comment highlight next to your purchase with which creators can respond to. Very easy, super easy to do. And, and you can go as low as $2 and it all matters. Every one of us is grateful for every, every super thanks. Another thing that I want to point out is all of us say, I'll leave a link in the description. I'll leave a link below. Well, this is the description and it's below the video. And that's why we say that all the time in the link below. When you hit more, and of course, this looks a little bit different on your mobile phone, but not much. When you hit more, the entire, the entire description open. Some people don't put anything in their description and some of us use every single character that we can. Here is where you will find links that are mentioned in the video. Uh, here's a flip through of my daily glue book and a link to that video. Christina's shack, here's her glue book video that inspired some of the ideas in this video. And then I list a whole bunch of ways that you can support the channel. Here is also a link to my Patreon page. Looking for boatloads of additional videos and information and cool Jujo junk journal, free printables created just for you, check out our Patreon page. Follow for free or join for as little as $5 a month. And you just have to click that link and boom, you're at the My Take at the Lake Patreon page. And there are loads of free, free stuff already here for you. There's so much here for you. Here are some posts. There's some behind the scenes videos, letters and lists, freebies. You don't even have to follow for free. You just have to go here and get the free goodies. For example, this post has this PDF right here. You can directly just click the PDF. There we go. I just have to click on the right part. So it, it automatically downloaded. You don't have to sign up. You don't have to leave your email. You just have to go get the free stuff. And there's loads of free stuff. Here are the using the same images winter freebies, a little sample of my Christmas cuties book. Here's junk journal jargon. If you're brand new to, you, to junk journaling, I think this video is an hour long, maybe a little bit longer. And it tells you all about junk journal jargon. What is an ATC? What is an ICAD and a belly band? And how do you use them? And what are they for? I have a book that I've created a lot of samples in. There's a lot of pictures and I explain all of it. There's also PDFs that you can download, a junk journal jargon PDF that's alphabetized. So when you're watching somebody and they throw out lingo, you can just look it up. You don't have to stop the video and go over to Google and ask some, you know, you don't have to figure it out or just, you know, keep driving blind. 
You can just look it up in your PDF that you printed out or load it onto your phone. I love this comment from Sandy that says, wow, I'm catching up on your Patreon page. This info is so fantastic. Wish I'd have had this when I started down the junk journal rabbit hole three years ago. Brilliant idea. Thanks, Care. And I love that I know that she got it. If you go and get the freebies, all I ask is for a like or a thumbs up or, or a, just a comment. Hey, I love this. This is awesome. If you get the stuff. There's letter from the bookmaker, letter from the, uh, if you give a glue book to somebody and they don't know what to do with it, letter from the junk journal maker, no watermark, you can, you can just, it's just a generic one, so you can use it for your own things. 20 plus ways to dive into junk journaling using a create this book. Here's a free recipe. You know, there's just all kinds of free things here, there for the taking. There's also a thrift store shopping list in here and a color-coded supply list for, again, people who are new to junk journaling. I've just easy peasy downloaded them. I'm gonna go over and I'll open them up so you can see what they look like. Get over here so you can see it. So I have something called Junk Journal University, Jujo U. And a lot of these pieces are parts of that. That's going to be coming to Teachable one of these years. This is organized by department, say at a thrift store. If you're looking at books and magazines, here's a whole list of things to look for. If they have a paper or office supply section, here's some things to watch for. Or if you're going to a, junk, a garage sale or a, an estate sale, take this with you for your junk journal supplies art and craft supplies, here's what to look for in clothing, here's what to look for in housewares, games, toys, jewelry. That's one of the freebies. Another one of the freebies is a color-coded supply list. And they're color-coded, green is free. Blue, you can get in the thrift store, super cheap, or DIY it. Purple, you have to pay for, but oh, so worth it. Orange, pricey, but worth it. Red, flat out pricey, but super fun, totally not necessary. Black is, price is neither here nor there. Some use it, others don't. Here are the basics, and then some more things to ask your friends and family for, some intermediate stuff you might want to use. It's, it's organized sort of on a timeline, advanced, ask for it, for it as a gift, get it when you can, versus these basics. You need scissors and glue, right? You need, you need these things. A stapler would come in handy. So again, completely free for the taking. All you gotta do is follow that link and we'll go back to it. There's always a link for my Patreon page. You can also join for $5 a month. There you get entire digital kits, not just samplers. There's a lot of digital kits there for the, Patreon, the paid Patreon peeps. I'm gonna go back there again. This is one thing that's sort of new. One of the collections on the Patreon page is this get to know your your palette. Fortunately they they start at the bottom. The newest is at the top. Maybe I can fix that so that it starts in order. But let's get this palette party started. I started working on this workshop in 2021 and my life got thrown upside down and I wasn't able to get back to it until 2022 and then my life turned upside down and I'm just now getting back to it in 2024. That's that's how things go around here. But what this is is an entire workshop series about color mixing to avoid mud using your palette. I don't tell you to go buy certain colors, although if you're brand new there are lists if you want to, you know, if you're starting from scratch, of course I provide a list, but the whole idea is to help you learn about the colors you already have and to make the best use of the colors you already have. <laughs> There's a workbook here and there are videos linked. Please watch this video. Here's something on supplies. Another one that also has the workbook and we start talking about the secrets of how to avoid mud. Let's talk the talk, terms and whatnot. And then now comes the color trials and those videos are being uploaded as we speak. Uh, there are several there now. And how this works, 
there is a $25 a month Patreon level. And I'm running that sort of like, oh, kind of like my own personal Skillshare or I like to think of it more as my community ed classes. I've taught this color mixing for years in person, but this is the first time I've attempted to record it and put it online, which is an entirely ball, different ball game altogether, uh, but it is coming together nicely. And again, it's all about how to help you avoid mud when you're mixing your colors. I use watercolor. This is the kit that I'm using, the one that I got for Christmas here, this little Windsor & Newton Cotman travel field set. But you can use watercolor, acrylic, craft paint, oil paint, whatever you want to use. But I am using, for all the demonstrations, this watercolor palette. And there are several videos, so if you've been waiting for this to come out, and I know some of you have been waiting a really long time, and thank you very much for your patience, it's out there now. Uh, so you can go ahead and join that $25 a month so essentially you're getting this monster color workshop for either $25, maybe $50 for the whole thing. You can do it at your own pace. You can stop the video and rewind it a thousand times. You can watch it over and over and over again. And then once you've had your fill of the class, you don't have to stay at the $25. You can just drop down to the five or back into the free. Uh, there's no contract or once you start, you can never stop. There's nothing like that. And so for $25, if you can get it all done in a month or $50, more likely because not all the videos are there yet, but there's a lot there already for you to devour. So it would probably take you a full month, if not a month and a half, just because life is busy and you're going to want to go back to it and whatnot. And as long as you're at that $25 level, you'll have access to the videos. Once all of these are done, I'm going to move it to a platform like Teachable or something. And so if it's something that you've been wanting to do, do it now while it's at a bargain basement price because the price is going to go up considerably when it moves over. But right now, it's a screaming good deal at $25, probably $50 for two because you'd be doing it for two months. But I want you to know, you know, it's there. It's it's there, I'm so excited. So we're gonna go back to, this is again the description, a whole bunch of links, a whole bunch of ways to help support the channel, a lot of stuff about the freebies that are available on Patreon, information about the clubhouse and links. Okay, so that brings us back to the store, woohoo! I'm going to put in a drum roll if I can find one. This is so cool. I am so jazzed about this. Let's take a look. I have, oh, I had one more thing. One more thing, you know, like Columbo, always like Columbo. I'm going to click on this video because it's handy. Oh, maybe not. I'm going to click on, we'll go back to the purple haired girl. I'm going to stop her from talking. We're going to go back into the description. One last thing that I wanted to show you, and I'm going to go, I'm going to have a video on this pretty quick. I did one last year and uh, it was really fun and it went over. I got a lot of really good feedback on it. So down here in ways to support the channel is, there's also a PayPal me, which is like a tip jar. If you have, if you're a big PayPal fan, or even if you're not, you don't have to have a PayPal account to use that. It's another tip jar. Um, we use this a lot before the super thanks button came along. So either way, it all it all comes back. But the PayPal me, you know, PayPal takes just a few pennies on the transaction versus YouTube taking a big chunk. So that might be better if that's easier for you. But what I want to talk about is this Krabby Crafter wish list, Amazon. You can you can send things directly to me. Uh, but I'm not showing it to you for that. I'm showing it to you because I put in here, every time I see something really cool on somebody else's channel, I throw it in this cart. Or if I, if I think of supplies that I need, I throw it not in this cart, but in this wish list. I've never heard of Windsor and Newton Pro Marker watercolor markers. I really want to try something like that. And I'm going to show you this. I'm going to do a, a walkthrough of all of these, um, but, if you're looking for some fun new supplies, this is a public wish list. There's so much on here. So there's that, which is also in the description. There's so much listed in this description. Links, if you need them, links to the Patreon so you can get there easy. 
explanations about what all the new stuff is that we've just talked about today, a warning to people about my how I value strong language and once in a while that means the use of profanity, ways to support the channel, free, most of them are free and all of them are certainly appreciated, a link to the Boston's channel, links to videos about Patreon, Pinterest, Instagram, and this the store is also there as well. Holy Hannah, there's a lot going on. That's why I wanted to walk you through it. I hope that you learned a few things like, oh, that's what that's for. Oh, that's what I can do. Oh, that's where I find these things because that's what it's all about is showing you around all the new stuff at the channel. Just to make it easy, I'm going to come here and say, go love up your beastlies. Let me just show you up here. Up, up at the top, we'll start at the left. Top left is Bitsy. And here's here's Ridley, and here's Buddy, and here's Riley, all arguing over one toy, you know, because we only had one toy. They had a hundred toys, but they all wanted this one, you know, as they do. Go love up your Beastlies, because you never know what tomorrow's going to bring. Thank you so much for sticking around for this. I hope it helps. I hope it gets you excited about some things. I don't know what, but I hope you had fun. I sure did. Thank you so much for, for being a member and for being a subscriber. And shout out to my Patreon peeps. You all just rock.